Flood risk in the UK is being exacerbated due to climate change. However, the risk is often overlooked. Currently, the Environment Agency advised that one in four homes in the UK are at risk of flooding, with 2.8 million properties being vulnerable to surface water flooding, especially in urban areas. Climate change, land management practices, and increased urbanisation are the main driving forces behind the increasing flood risk vulnerability within the UK. Land use management and urbanisation has resulted in more impermeable surfaces in areas that were once natural green open spaces. Subsequently, the existing drainage systems are unable to cope with the additional rainfall and surface water discharge. This has led many built-up cities and urban environments around the world to try and adopt a greener approach to their design and help and develop innovative solutions to manage rainwater effectively. These solutions are often known as SUDS, Sustainable Urban Drainage Systems. So what are Sustainable Urban Drainage Systems? Well, SUDS are natural approaches designed to manage drainage and surface water around properties and urban developments. SUDS are intended to imitate nature and the natural catchment of an area by managing the rainfall and water close to where it falls. Suds are designed to provide areas to store and absorb excess amounts of water, transfer water safely without affecting neighbouring areas, attenuate the water before it returns back to watercourses, allow the water to soak into the ground as naturally as possible or evaporate from surface water. Traditional drainage systems versus suds. Well, traditional urban drainage systems are designed to transport water away from built up areas and populated areas in order to prevent flooding. For traditional drainage systems to work, rainfall needs to be transferred as quickly as possible. This means that there is very limited opportunity for the water to be reused and it does not reflect the natural catchment and infiltration of the area. Traditional systems have not been designed to consider long-term sustainability. Instead, they're just transferring water elsewhere, which can often cause problems for these areas, along with the areas where the rainwater initially fell. Traditional systems are heavily limited by their volume capacity. Outdated drainage infrastructure is unable to cope with channeling the increased precipitation levels brought on by climate change, meaning that flooding from artificial sources such as drains and sewage systems is on the rise. Traditional systems are also susceptible to blockages caused from storm debris which impedes their ability to manage water efficiently. In comparison, by intercepting and managing precipitation at the source through making good use of permeable layers and surfaces such as soil and vegetation, suds help ensure that precipitation is managed effectively by mimicking the natural groundwater recharge of the area. This method causes a reduction in surface water runoff, ensures better water quality, and is much more effective at reducing surface water flooding in built-up areas. What are the environmental benefits of suds? Well, suds are much more sustainable and effective at minimising the risk of surface water flooding when compared with traditional drainage systems, as they reduce the risk of sewer flooding following heavy rain, protect water quality and reduce pollution from runoff, create habitats for wildlife in built-up urban areas, manage runoff volumes and flow rates in a controlled way, reducing potential flooding, and help prevent drought by recharging the local groundwater. They can also reduce pressure on existing infrastructure by enabling evapotranspiration from vegetation and surface water areas. So when and where are suds used? Well, it's a legal requirement that any new commercial or residential developments take into account where their excess surface water runoff will go. And it's essential that water is either reintroduced back into the natural water cycle or disposed of accordingly. Suds can be used at a range range of scales and often can be incorporated into the development design and architecture itself. In many instances, suds can be a focal point and provide attractive spaces or alternatively be designed so that they aren't even noticeable. There are many opportunities and ways in which suds can be incorporated into designs such as green roofs, permeable surfaces, detention basins, infiltration trenches, filter strips and even purpose-built ponds. We'll be doing more of these videos to help raise awareness of flood risk and how to manage it. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Thanks everyone, see you soon.